It's your partner, man. Who? He on top. It's your partner, man. Who? He on top. It's your partner, man. Who? He on top. Man, what's good with the people, man? How's y'all doing on this worthless worth Wednesday? You say worthless worth Wednesday? What you talking about, bro? We gonna get into it, but before we do that, what's good, people? Like he he ha ha, man. Ken in the pen, man. He on you know talking about all my folks incarcerated, all my folks who want everybody on the bottom of that thing, everybody on top of that thing. Keep that head up. You know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We gonna get through it to get to it, man. Did I say can in the pen, man? I don't know, but if I didn't, go get that stick up in storage now. You know what I'm talking about? You go get you some off 76 MacArthur Giants League is what I'm talking about. 82nd Hillside, Barbershop. They say somebody putting them in their storage in the hundreds. Thank you, young man. Now you know, because I tell you every morning, but just in case you don't like me, you don't watch me, or you just don't want nothing to do with me. You know what I'm talking about? That's all right, because you can still come get them from me. Bro's not a hater. You know what I'm talking Sprinkler system on you. What'd you say, bro? Sprinkler system on you. He know what I'm talking about, man. Also in storage now. He know what I'm talking about. Funk or die trying. He know what I'm talking about. Make sure you go get you one. But if all else fails, I mean, if all else fails, man, make sure you go to Amazon. Get you a hardback. He know what I'm talking about, man. Uh oh, what's that? Swing that finger, young man. Worldwide INC. What'd you say, bro? Worldwide Incorporated. What'd you say, bro? Worldwide. They gonna say what that mean, bro? I'm say, hey, you know what I'm talking about? It means everybody. You say what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm talking about? Everybody included. You know what I'm talking about? And Dugu, Mike, Lil Rue, not Lil Rue, Cutthroat, Tata the player. That's who comes next. You know what I'm talking about? Same thing, bro. Everybody on the bottom of that thing. Everybody on top of that thing. Keep that head up. You know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We gonna get through it. To get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Now let's get through these disclaimers. But before we do that, my mama says, and my mama always says, boy. Brush them whiskers when you're on TV. You know what I'm talking about? And I almost forgot. <sighs> Coffee Chronicles. Classic roast. Piping hot. <sighs> Piping hot. So hot. You know what I'm talking about? Now, a good brother like myself, I don't promote no drug usage. Mm -mm. I don't promote no drug sellage. Mm -mm. I don't promote no alcohol consumption. Mm -mm. You know what I'm talking about? Don't take a sip of the sippage. You know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself. And I don't promote no uh crime. Mm mm. Good brother like myself. I don't promote no violence. Mm mm. You know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself. I don't promote no domestic violence. Mm mm. Keep your hands off the people. People. You know what I'm talking about? I, I, you know what I'm talking about? Don't. You know what I'm talking about? Promote. You know what I'm talking about? No. Negativity. No, no, no. No, man. Me, man. I don't promote shit. You know what I'm talking about? They was talking to me. Man, I don't promote shit. You know what I'm talking about? No, man. Me, man. All I promote is y'all go ahead and do what you're gonna do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you find the right thing to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen, because we just don't know how much of it we got, man. But a good brother like myself. Man, I ain't prejudiced. No, man. Good brother like myself. I ain't got nothing against the sexually different, man. No, man. Good brother like myself. I ain't got nothing against the little people. No, man. Me, man. I ain't got nothing against nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? They was talking to me. Man, I just love me some. Everybody, he on talking about. As a matter of fact, I'm on a quest. He on talking about. Bring that peace. He on talking about that joy. He on talking about that live. We just bring that live. Back to the YouTube community, man. You with me? Come on over here, man. Come fuck with your partner, man. Check it out. Psst, 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 psst. Come fuck with a nigga one time. Man, y'all hard on me. Go put some warmth on this thing. Some warmth on this thing. Man, it was good with the people. I had to go put some. Warf on that thing, man. Get that classic roast piping hot tie. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, shout out to everybody who don't got no good grip but can't let go of the past. <sighs> Only death can keep me from you. <laughs> I see. You know what I'm talking about? I see you, man. It was good with the people, man. They say, bro, what you talking about on the day, man? Uh, worthless worth. Say, bro, what are you talking about? Just that worthless worth shit. They say, bro, you're going to have to elaborate. I think I spoke on this the other day. But check this one out. Y'all know we living in the days of that artificial shit. We living in the days of that self-proclaimed shit. So that worthless worth, it's just that right there, man. Because you know how the... Uh, Especially the ragless, the raggediest niggas and the raggediest bitches be running around this motherfucker talking about they the prize and what they worth and all that. 
worthless word, folks. Like I told you before, now you could think that you worth a bunch of shit. You know what I'm talking about? That shit might mean something to you. If that shit don't mean nothing to nobody else, bro, that shit ain't worth nothing. Worthless worth Wednesday it is. You say, what you talking about, bro? Just like this, because like, uh, I don't know, niggas and bitches do this shit. You know what I'm talking about? You'll be surprised how many bitches do it, though. You know what I'm talking about? Niggas don't really, uh, like, niggas more so, like, say if a nigga, uh, is having it and shit, them type of niggas, they more, more, more so trick. You know what I'm talking about? So they more so, uh, uh, take the bitch out, maybe get a bitch a few dollars or something. They ain't really tripping. You know what I'm talking about? But when it come to a bitch, see a bitch. They, uh, or from what I've seen, you know what I'm talking about? It's a little bit different, you know what I'm talking about? I mean, you got some sugar mama type bitches like that, <clears throat> but for the most part, the kind of motherfucker who think like this, as far as a bitch or whatnot, you gonna find one of them hoes with a nigga who's not on their level. You know what I'm talking about? And that's what I've seen in my life. You know what I'm talking about? Like, for a nigga so much, like, I just didn't see niggas trick. I just seen a few niggas. You got, you, got, you got a few niggas. You know what I'm talking about? But for the most part, I just seen the bitch that be like, the bitch who has the car, fuck with the nigga who don't got nothing. You get what I'm saying? I told y'all this the other day. Because the way y'all work now is leverage. So you got the bitch with the car, so she didn't entice the nigga by, uh, and that shit only means something to a nigga who don't got a car. A bitch with a brand new Benz, what does that? <clears throat> that shit don't hold no way to a nigga with a brand new Ferrari. You know what I'm talking about? Coffee Chronicle. That shit only hold weight to a nigga who don't got no car. You get what I'm saying? A bitch with her own spot or something. That, that, that shit only hold weight to a nigga who don't got his own spot. That shit only holds weight to a nigga who needs to come spend a night at your house. You get what I'm saying? It's just like when niggas, when you run into a bitch that already having her own money, you know what I'm talking about, that you can't buy and trick on that ain't impressed by that shit, then you got to use your mouthpiece, you know what I'm talking about, your, uh, your charisma and all that shit, you know what I'm talking about, you just can't come, you just can't buy that bitch, it's going to take a little bit more than some money, you know what I'm talking about, to entice that bitch, you know what I'm talking about, nephew says old man, old lady, nephew says old man, old lady, what'd you say bro, old lady, you know what I'm talking about man. It's a worthless worth, man. You know what I'm talking about? Penny over there hollering. I just got up this morning hella early, try to go fix them hoes and shit, so I'm inclined to let her ass go out there and see how she fear. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm inclined to let her ass go out there and see how she fear, because she getting on my damn nerves. She been doing that shit all night. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man, but worthless worth Wednesday. Because, uh, y'all yeah, hold on real quick right back up on you man you know what i'm talking about but yeah man worthless worth wednesday you feel me because a lot of motherfuckers like the y'all be thinking shit worth something Ugh! and that should be worthless you know what i'm talking about that shit only worth something to somebody you know what i'm talking about a cup of water that shit is only worth something to somebody who's thirsty people who have their own water don't give a fuck up. your glass of water ain't gonna be important to them worthless worth you know what i'm talking about and we get into a lot of that shit now because we just use leverage. You know what I'm talking about? So if I'm the one with the car, I get to make the rules. If I'm the one who getting the money, I get to make the rules. I get to control how much money you have. If I got the car, I get to control where you go. Because I'm just not going to let you use the car. Or if the house is mine, I get to control, you know what I'm talking about, how comfortable you sleep. Because I can just tell you to get out. And just like I told you, man, people ain't just start working with leverage. Man, I remember a motherfucker uh, kicked me out the house about 4 o'clock in the morning, nigga, when bread was on the news. I ain't bullshitting with you. You know what I'm talking about? Motherfucker use leverage on your ass real quick. If you, <laughs> Man, listen, man. Worthless worth. Put your ass in the situation 
it takes a genuine person to not take advantage of a person, bro. It takes a real solid motherfucker not to take advantage of a person when they in a vulnerable state. You know what I'm talking about? Man, fuck around. Man, fuck around. You'll fuck around and find out, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Motherfucker use leverage, man. Get in this situation with one of these wrong-minded motherfuckers. And they know that you need them? Please. They gonna send your ass through hoops just because. Now, I ain't talking about everybody. I'm just talking about the motherfucker who think like that. Now, you just get a solid motherfucker, man. They just gonna, you know what I'm talking about? They just gonna lend a hand. But it's, it's rarely that you see people just lend a hand, folks. I ain't bullshitting with you. It's really you just see that. For the most part, you're going to see a motherfucker try to uh, take advantage of what they think is their advantage. Worthless worth Wednesday. But I'm just, uh, and this ain't even nothing like I seen on the phone and nothing. It's just the attitude I be seeing out of the people in the real world and shit. How everybody running around talking about this prize shit. How everybody took running around talking about they know they worth and all this old shit right there. Worthless worth, folks. And the cold part about it, when you hear a nigga say it, he talking about some money. And when you hear a bitch say it, she talking about how pretty she thinks she is or how thick she is. You know what I'm talking about? When you hear a motherfucker talking about, I know my worth. Like most of the time when you hear a nigga say that, it's a nigga who probably doing well for himself. So he got a, a bunch of money and he thinks that makes him something. And then if you hear a bitch talking about she know her worth, most of the time it's because she thinks she's cute and... uh she thinks she's thick. She thinks she has a nice body. That's what they be talking about when I know I'm the prize. It'd be some superficial shit or so. However you say that shit. You know how bread is with his vocabulary. But it'd be some uh it'd be some of that shit, bruh. It'd be some hollow shit that they got their confidence in. You know what I'm talking about? Cause you ain't gonna always be thick. You might not always be pretty. You know what I'm talking about? You ain't gonna always be thick. And you might not always be pretty. You get what I'm saying? But uh in this day and age right here, money and attractiveness is like that muff that shit runs the world. All you gotta do is have a little bit of money and be attractive. And that's automatically let you tell it gonna make you the prize. Nigga, something straight out of the comic book. You hold something straight out of the comic book. I don't know. What the fuck I was just looking at? I was trying to find out who the Warriors. I'm trying to see if we're going to get this nigga from Utah. You get what I'm saying? Got to be a nice trade. Uh, Really, they talking about this. Uh, you see our brothers jumped into the Warriors news? I'm going to get back to it, though. Like, if I'm the Warriors, I don't trade none of my young dudes. I trade, uh, I got Looney and uh, Wiggins on the, uh, on the trade with some draft picks. That's what I got. I don't see why them niggas didn't get nothing for uh Chris Paul or uh I was just reading some shit, nigga. We could have traded Chris Paul to the Bulls, nigga, for uh Levine and a first round pick. Nigga, a first round pick from the Bulls, nigga. They didn't even want that nigga, bro. <laughs> they said fuck that. They just gave Chris Paul away though. Basically Clay Thompson too. But I like that nigga Kyle Anderson. I swear to God. I used to uh that nigga used to give us a problem. I swear to God, that nigga right there, he could defend if nothing else. So I, th I like their little moves. I hope they get Buddy Hill. You know what I'm talking about? I like the nigga they got from the 76ers. Uh, they team looking more like the 2015 team than it did with a... Uh, because, see, y'all got to remember this if you're a Warrior fan. Because everybody like KD. I hate the Warriors with KD. Even though he the reason that we got like a few more rings. I did not like KD, bro. I still don't like KD. And I ain't talking about like as a... Uh, Cause he's a good basketball player. He's like LeBron to me, though. Them niggas is like the new age people, bro. How you niggas is, bro. Hella sensitive and all that shit. Got a baby, want to be the man and all that shit. Them niggas have, uh, and as bad as I didn't want to lose Clay Thompson, that nigga got a little bit of that shit up in him. That's what I did not like about him. That nigga gets, uh, like he too down on himself sometimes. If he had a bad game, he'd get in his own head. He care about what people saying and all that shit. He wants to prove the people wrong. And I don't like that type of shit, bro. Fuck these people. Fuck what they talking about. All them niggas that sit up there. Like, it ain't no problem if you read social media and shit. But if you read that shit and let it affect you, 
that's where the problem come in at, bro. You arguing with a nigga who don't even know how to dribble. You know what I'm talking about? Talking about your basketball skills, bro. You get what I'm saying? That shit pointless. Yeah, that shit pointless, bro. You on there arguing with Sagoonies and little kids, bro, about you getting paid millions and them. I don't be liking that shit. It's too sensitive. You know what I'm talking about? But uh, I did not like Kevin Durant, bro, because I knew if you just watch people, folks, you know what I'm talking about? I told you in the end, it all tie in. Worthless worth Wednesday. If you just watch people, bro, they they tell on themselves, folks. You seen that nigga did that shit over there in OKC. Try to blame everything on Westbrook because Westbrook wasn't the star. He was the star and all that. But if you look at the, because they got beat before us. When we beat them 3-1, look at that game, bro. Westbrook and Kevin Durant froze up, bro. I seen Eagle Dollar for like three minutes just come take the ball out both of them niggas' hands, bro. I seen Eagle Dollar on the Warriors, bro, for like three minutes. Just ran up on both of them niggas and snatched the ball out their hand, bro. You know what I'm talking about? That's why I don't like uh, Kevin Durant, uh, Westbrook, or Harden. That's why if any of them niggas ever in the playoff, I'm not... Them niggas is not winners, bro. They freeze up in big moments. All them niggas. See, Kevin Durant thought he was slick. He couldn't get that shit by me, though. See, you came over there to the Warriors to hide yourself. That's what he did. He came over there to hide himself. You know what I'm talking about? So he could just get all the credit. You know what I'm talking about? Everybody else going to get the blame. He could just get all the credit because he, he's the best player amongst uh, best players. Coffee Chronicles. And everybody was mad at Draymond. And they felt like Draymond ran that nigga off. I swear to God, I love Draymond Green. He a little bit scary, too. I love that nigga, though. But notice, he only be choking white people and, like, them European players, bro. You ain't, you know what I'm talking about? That nigga don't be doing that shit against real niggas. You know what I'm talking about? You don't never see that nigga run up on a real nigga and be doing that shit. You know what I'm talking about? So he be picking and choosing too, but I still love my nigga, right? Because uh, he will tell your punk ass. You know what I'm talking about? He will tell your punk ass. And that's what he told Kevin Durant. Just like he told Poole. Because you bitch ass niggas coming over here, you think you doing something, bro. Ain't nobody bigger than us. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all ain't did this shit. We did this shit. We was here, nigga, with Monte Ellis and them. You know what I'm talking about? You niggas is just, y'all, y'all coming apart. Y'all, y'all coming aboard what we already got. Just like you told that nigga, bitch ass nigga, you ain't never won nothing. We won before you got here. You not the reason we the shit. We been the shit, nigga. And everybody act like we would have kept Kevin Durant. We see niggas worry about more being dominant. I don't even like that nigga, bro. I really didn't like them championships because I know we didn't need that nigga to win. And the real warrior fan, bro, y'all don't even be looking at that narrative. Just like Isaiah Thomas talking about that nigga came and saved our dynasty. How, nigga? We won before that nigga and we won after him. He ain't won since. He ain't won since, bro. That shit be reminding me sometimes, bro, some of these hoes I used to fuck with, bro. You know what I'm talking about? It be all good when you around the bro program, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Then the split come. Bro, still on the bro program. Your ass sitting over there trying to stay afloat with a life raft around your motherfucking neck. I was winning before you got here. I went after you gone. You know what I'm talking about? That's what winners do, folks. That's what winners do, bro. The niggas don't be, uh, I don't know, this conversation went a little bit too far. But just look at Kevin Durant. Everywhere else he done went, bro. He's never going to win. That nigga just was supposed to have the biggest motherfucking team with Phoenix, bro. He's never going to win. He's a bitch-ass nigga. See, one of the main things they don't ever tell you about that sports shit is chemistry, bro. Niggas got to like you. You know what I'm talking about? You got to have, a, like, a bond. You ain't finna win no championships when we really don't like each other. We cool, but, like, you ain't gonna win nothing like that. You got to have that chemistry. See, because that chemistry is just like uh, that love you got for your block. You know what I'm talking about? You gonna go out there and fight for your niggas. You know what I'm talking about? Just us. You know what I'm talking about? That's some real shit. But if you ain't got chemistry, and them type of niggas, they fuck the chemistry up, bro. Everywhere they go, you done fuck the chemistry up. Nigga ran. They be talking about LeBron. They don't They don't tell you how many coaches that nigga uh, KD done got fired, though. That nigga a coach killer, too, bro. They asked for Steve Nash. He got over there. Got him fired. Got the other nigga fired. 
You was over there in Brooklyn. We, you was supposed to bring a championship to New York. You know what I'm talking about? Didn't make it. Your toe was on the line because you're nervous, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? You're nervous with your scary ass. You know what I'm talking about? You let Giannis in them take it. You just ain't going to never win, bro. You came over there to Golden State to hide. Because you're really not a leader like that. You know what I'm talking about? Now, you got the skills of one of them boys, but you ain't got the mentality of no boy. You don't. So your mentality, it makes you small. Now, your skills, they real big, bro. But the way you think, you get nervous and shit. You do. Yeah, you get nervous and shit. I remember Steph and them used to be like that, though, on my mama. And I never used to want to say that about Steph, right? But I knew it in my heart. That's why that nigga didn't have them MVPs. I used to see my nigga get a little tight when that shit was on the line. You know what I'm talking about? I used to see my nigga get a little tight. That's why... I, I'm so glad to see that nigga play in that Boston series because I seen him do something that I ain't never seen him do before. Because y'all be wondering why late. Because uh, a lot of uh, y'all see how this just went from a worthless worth nigga to a sports uh, podcast. But see, them niggas be hella tired, bro. That's why a lot of you won't see that nigga hit hella them threes in the fourth quarter and shit. That's why the word is hella good in the third quarter. But in the fourth quarter, the motherfuckers don't be falling down because them niggas' legs is tired. You know what I'm talking about? I watched my nigga miss two three-pointers in the fourth quarter, right? And that nigga was through with that shit. I started watching my nigga take them niggas to the cup. I was like, yup, he got it. You know what I'm talking about? He understand the game now. Fuck this shot that ain't falling. That nigga start going to the cup. Nigga getting fouled. Niggas in there. You know what I'm talking about? That nigga was getting this three the hard way. And when I seen him do that, I said, yeah, he got over that shit. You know what I'm talking about? That nigga wanted that MVP. He knew that was going to seem in him. You feel me? But fuck Kevin Durant. That was the moral of this story. We never needed that nigga. You know what I'm talking about? And we proved that after he left, we won. You know what I'm talking about? Now, back to worthless worth. You know what I'm talking about? Wednesday it is. Y'all got to excuse me for the uh, intermission. But in the end, it'll all tie in. <clears throat> but yeah, that worthless worth. Because I keep telling you, bro. Whatever the fuck you think you is, you could, you could think the most of yourself. Because I'm one of the motherfuckers that think real highly of myself. You know what I'm talking about? But at the same time, bro, no matter what the fuck you think about yourself, that shit only worth something to somebody who want that shit, folks. You get what I'm saying? So you could think you way up here, bro. If that shit ain't worth nothing to nobody else, bro, it means nothing. You know what I'm talking about? Coffee Chronicles. And that's what's really fucked up about the worthless worth. Because the shit y'all think that's worth something is the shit that ain't worth nothing. Y'all y'all choose material shit over your character. You get what I'm saying? So your character ain't got nothing to it. But you having it right now. You got chains. You got jewelry. You got cars and shit. But ain't nothing to your character, bro. You still like you still a broke person. You just got some physical money. Eternally, you bankrupt. Yeah, because a lot of us, we broke inside here. You know what I'm talking about? And that's why we hate being ourselves. And that's why we be acting out the way we do. You know what I'm talking about? We really, like, upset with ourselves. Worthless, worth, Wednesday. It is. But yeah, man, on some real shit, that shit got to be worth something to somebody else, folks. You can't just, even though I know we living in the days where you could just proclaim yourself some shit. I'm the prize. I'm the table and all this shit. All right. Who want to sit at that shit, though? You could be all that shit. Who you who, who are you going to be able to get to come join you at your table? You'll be sitting over there with that motherfucker in the window like one of them motherfucking sandwich shops that don't never had nobody in that motherfucker. You pass that motherfucker, you see all the food, the flies flying around in them empty tables. Just because you think you're a table don't mean somebody gonna come sit down and have dinner with you, brunch or some breakfast. Remember that. <clears throat> so you can think you all that shit. You still need somebody to come sit down and have dinner with you or something. Come eat with you. But the shit we think worth something is the shit that ain't worth nothing. But, like, this is what y'all falling for now. This is what you lust behind. Because that's all they really get niggas do is the lust. They just got you looking at it. Man, I was watching a... a I don't know what it was. One of these niggas was wrestling or something, right? But the nerd the whole time on the bitch. 
And he just be having you niggas like this now, bruh. You niggas act like nerds around hoes. You know what I'm talking about? And it's like the bitches know you niggas is nerds, bruh. The bitches just sitting around there trying to, they know y'all tricks. The bitches just trying to get some money. But y'all be the, like, it's just, it's weird. That's what it is. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Hey, what you say, bro? Old lady. You know what I'm talking about? It's weird. But the nigga, like, uh, he can't even do his commentary no more. He over here stuck on the light-skinned bitch. Like a pervert or something. Like, ooh, you see, you know what I'm talking about, nigga? Ooh, you see, you know what I'm talking about? Like, goddamn, bro. Then the other nerd nigga, like y'all just look at a bitch, she might have some body or something, the bitch clap her ass, and you niggas is in the heaven, bro. You don't know if that bitch stank. You don't know if that bitch steal. You don't know nothing about that bitch, bro. You don't know if that bitch running around here setting niggas up. You don't know nothing about the bitch, bro. Y'all just validate a bitch because she thick or might be attractive now. Y'all, that's a bad bitch. Man, bitch might be broke, man. Ain't nothing bad about no broke-minded bitch, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Niggas weird. You don't know how to gauge shit for yourself. Y'all go off everybody else's standards. I told y'all. This is when I knew you. Man, I've been knew y'all was lost, but this is just when I knew <clears throat> y'all don't be paying attention. Kevin Samuels. They say, bro, don't you get to talking about Kevin Samuels again. You niggas be killing me with that shit too, but he's talking about Kevin Samuels. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? R.I.P. Kevin Samuels. You know what I'm talking about? But uh, when that nigga came with his list of attractiveness, and he was talking about like he he had his own bitches who he thought was cute, and that nigga said this is a five and lower, this is a seven to eight, you know what I'm talking about? Listen, bro, how could you go off another nigga's list of attractiveness? You might not think one of them bitches that he named was attractive, but this is how y'all start, like. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all weird with that shit, folks. Who attractive to you is who is attractive to you, bro. You know what I'm talking about? You might like Alicia Keys over Beyonce, man. You know what I'm talking about? You might like Rihanna over Gabriel Union, man. Shit. You might like Whoopi Goldberg over Sweetie, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? That's your choice, folks. Can't nobody else tell you what's attractive to you, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Can't nobody else tell you... What's too big? What's too little? What's too tall? What's too short, bruh? You like what you like. That's why you like it, bruh. But this is what y'all not doing now. You liking what they tell you to like. Coffee Chronicles. I been had you niggas pegged about four years ago, though. When I first started seeing you nerds, bruh. Worthless Worth Wednesday. It's like you them niggas that grew up. You them niggas that know all the porn star bitches by names and shit. You know what I'm talking about? The nigga ever came up to you and was like, you don't know. You? They're like, bro, I ain't never heard of this person in my life. The nigga talking about, oh, she's a porn star. All right, bro. You know what I'm talking about? But you them niggas that grew up watching porn and shit, bro. You know what I'm talking about? When niggas was going to strip clubs way back in the day, y'all couldn't get in there. So y'all like the bitch that looked like that. Y'all really like that bitch that's from Alvin Groom. Y'all want that ratchet, nasty-ass bitch. You do. Because in your mind, she hella thick and hella nasty. And you willing to pay for that experience. Man, you'd be better off going to the museum, brother. But you, you, uh, the moral in that is, bruh, Keep telling you it ain't no more game. Everything is a look. But the more into that is, bruh, and that's on anything, bruh. You, uh, they, this been around forever. You can't judge a book by its cover, bruh. You got to read that motherfucker. You got to see what's inside that motherfucker. And that's how y'all be getting the, uh, that's how you don't be getting the best thing for yourself. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's how you don't be getting the best thing for yourself. Because you ain't actually even spoke to the bitch or nothing. Like, you ran up on the bitch because she was attractive. You ran up on the bitch because she was thick. You know what I'm talking about? So that right there neglected everything else. That's all you needed right there. You know what I'm talking about? That's the only confirmation you needed right there. She's attractive. She thick. You want to fuck. You know what I'm talking about?
you looked over the fact two and three niggas had keys to her house. You looked over the fact she had four, five different baby daddies. You looked over the fact she had two daddies for one kid. You just looked over the fact of all this other shit. You know what I'm talking about? You looked over the fact she talking about somebody mad at her because they think she set her up. Like, you just skipped all, because all you care about is she's attractive and she thick. You know what I'm talking about? So that's all you needed right there because that's what you're looking for. You know what I'm talking about? You're going to have to dig deeper sometime. You know what I'm talking about? What's for you is what's for you. And that's why I always tell you there's a bad thought in your head to say, I want a bitch. I want a nigga. I want to be married. That's a bad thought in your head, bro. Because when you start thinking like that, you're going to make anything that shit. It's just like, that's just like saying I want to go hang glide. You know what I'm talking about? It's like you looking more for the experience. Like you got a bucket list more than you really uh looking into the meaning of what that shit mean. You know what I'm talking about? You just want to be married. You ain't really looking to be a, a, a wife or a husband to a person. You just want to see how I feel to be married. You know, motherfucking will, you ain't mentally capable to keep a, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, Coffee Chronicles. Worthless worth Wednesday. And the moral of this story is, bro, you really got to be worth something. You know what I'm talking about? But most importantly, you got to be worth something to somebody else. Cause a lot of shit you be uh, cause all y'all do is use leverage, but that shit only means shit to the people who ain't got that shit. You know what I'm talking about? And nowadays y'all so cold, y'all do people like slaves with that shit. Everywhere you go, you could be in Walmart, bro. You could be in Smiths. You could be in motherfucking Albertsons. Anywhere you go, bro, there's gonna be somebody up in their high side with some leverage. Talking to the people in the crowd. That's why I don't even get how y'all hang around each other now, bro. Y'all, y'all got some cold friends now, bro. Nigga, anywhere I didn't went, nigga, for like the past couple of years. You know what I'm talking about? It's gonna be somebody embarrassing somebody. I ain't bullshitting with you. They gonna be talking about the person who ain't got no money in the dinner place. They knew, I guess, they knew the person didn't have no money when they came. But they gonna talk about how they never got no money. They gonna throw it. Hey man, I'm telling y'all, y'all some cold people. <laughs> Coffee Chronicles, worthless worth Wednesday, man. And people, niggas and bitches alike. That's why it's good just to be your own motherfucking person. Live your life. Whatever happens, happens. Get out that motherfucking Bible. Get grandma, auntie, and them about your motherfucking ear. Listen to me. Because they got y'all living in the magical forest. They got you actually believing, especially if you a bitch. They, uh, if you a bitch, what you've been taught your whole motherfucking life. What they've been telling you is some, some magical nigga going to come around here and take care of you. So they got you actually not even... They got you preparing yourself looking for a nigga, man. That's why a lot of y'all, like, you never find yourself. Because you're looking for something else. You're looking for everything but yourself. That's why y'all don't be knowing who y'all is. Because in your mind, you're going to come across somebody that's going to take care of every... Nah, man. Nigga and bitch alike, man. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Get out that motherfucking magical forest, man. You know what I'm talking about? Do for your motherfucking self, man. Don't get no motherfucking habit, man. Of depending on nobody thinking somebody finna come save your motherfucking ass. Get in the habit of knowing how to do... To take care of yourself, at least. Get in the habit of knowing how to take care of yourself if there was nobody around, bruh. Because if you don't, man, you're going to lose out on a lot of your time. You're going to miss out. You're going to miss out on a lot of shit you could have just did for yourself looking for somebody else to do it for you. Sometimes you just got to use critical thinking, man. You do. You be like, man, damn, what's like, man, you know what I'm talking about? Because you're going to keep living. People going to pass. 
you got to be able to take care of you. That's why it's good to be responsible for you. Worthless, worth Wednesday. Because if you don't, you know what somebody going to do? They going to come hit you where you're soft at. They going to come around with all the shit that you don't got, that you need, that you might want. And they going to control you with that shit. Yeah, they going to control you with that shit. That's that shit when you and your partners are going to be over there. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all just got through watching the game. Yeah, you just went and got all your partners. You know what I'm talking about? It was cool. And, but somehow, I guess y'all was watching the game a little bit too loud. Now the bitch got the attitude. Now when you go grab the keys and talking about, uh, you finna go take the fellas home. That's when the bitch get the, where you going? You know what I'm talking about? You ain't got your own car. I'm finna go take them out. Uh-uh, not my car, I'm finna, you know what I'm talking about, I don't know how they gonna get home, you know what I'm talking about, they sit, you know what I'm talking about, and all that shit right there, all that shit in front of the fellas, you know what I'm talking about, they try to knock your, they try to make you feel low as a man, you know what I'm talking about, you know how they play when you ain't got your own shit. And you'll be crazy as a motherfucker, bruh. If you one of the motherfuckers out here that really ain't, like, I ain't gonna say responsible for yourself, because hell of you ain't responsible for yourself, but you irresponsible to the point where you don't know how to take care of yourself. You know what I'm talking about? You got to know that, folks. You know what I'm talking about? Because it might not be nobody around. You gonna have to, uh, just like them forest, uh, niggas that be in the forest, bear grills and shit, bro. You gonna have to know how to start a fire and shit. Kill something for some food. Worthless worth Wednesday. You know what I'm talking about? Coffee Chronicles. And the shit y'all think worth something is worthless. Most important thing you can have around this motherfucker is some sense. And I ain't talking about money. Because you can have all the money in the world and still be an ignorant, dumb motherfucker. Coffee Chronicles. If you ain't got no sense, it's only a matter of time. I ain't bullshitting with you. If you ain't got no sense, it's only a matter of time. Yeah, it's only a matter of time. You know what I'm talking about? You gonna uh, take yourself out the way. <clears throat> Trust me. One way or the other, you gonna do something to either get yourself hurt, killed, or you gonna do something to get yourself a lot of time. You know what I'm talking about? It pay to have sense. I ain't bullshitting with you. Cause not having none, you gonna just keep running into brick walls, folks. You gonna have a hell of problems. You, uh, I'm telling you, bro, you gonna have an uncomfortable uh, ass living. You always gonna be on the run. You always gonna be in jail. You always gonna be in fights. You always gonna be funking. It's always gonna be something. You know what I'm talking about? Cause you ain't got no sense. No understanding. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I ain't bullshit with you, bro. Nephew says old man, old lady. Hey, nephew says old man, old lady. Hey, what you say, bro? Old lady. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> Worthless worth Wednesday. So the moral of this story is, bro, like, whatever you think you worth, that shit got to be worth something to somebody else. You know what I'm talking about? And another moral of this story is the shit that y'all think worth something is worthless. Y'all think that money means something? Y'all think these material items mean? Like, that shit worthless, folks. It might mean something to you, but that shit means nothing. You know what I'm talking about? That shit comes and goes. You know what I'm talking about? And if you ain't never had none of that shit, man, I suggest you get started. You know what I'm talking about? But that shit come and go, folks. That shit come and go with the game, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? They used to say, man, uh, how you win the game is last. You know what I'm talking about? You just last, man. Hand said, bruh, you still around? You know I'm is. Piece of place like Fonzo. I remember they told me I was hella boozy for saying that. <laughs> but I talked to Hand. He said, bruh, you still around? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And I said, you know I'm is. Piece of place like Fonzo. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all don't know what that means. That's why it's good for people to know who you is. You know what I'm talking about? They know exactly what it means. But yeah, man, worthless worth. That shit y'all think something don't mean nothing, folks.
It don't. <clears throat> you better uh go collect you some motherfucking sense, bruh. Some know-how. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all better pay attention to that shit you go through. You know what I'm talking about? Because a lot of y'all just keep, you go through that shit for nothing. You don't learn nothing from it. You know what I'm talking about? And you just hold on to what everybody done did to you. And we got that good, worthless worth Wednesday. We'll sit around here because we don't care. We don't look at We have no consideration for what we actually do to make people react. We actually do shit to make people react. And we just inhale that. Talking about how they done reacted when we over here fucking with these people. Something straight out of comic book, bro. Worldwide, man. You know what I'm talking about? That finger. You know what I'm talking about? Worldwide INC. Worthless worth Wednesday. Because y'all just repeat shit y'all hear in uh, casual conversations. You know what I'm talking about? So everybody running around high value. Everybody running around the prize, the table. They know what they worth and all that shit right here. All that worthless shit. Because as soon as you get to talking about man, but you told on them people. Bro, you, uh, you set your partner up and all. They come with the money phone. You know what I'm talking about? The money fan and shit. Talking about you niggas just hating because uh, you broke. You sure about that, bro? Because I could have swear you just came to court and told on them people. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Uh, you know, I don't know. <sighs> the world we live in. You know what I'm talking about? You could change the conversation. With the money fan. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Nigga, something straight out of comic book, bro. Worthless worth Wednesday, man. That's why I keep telling you, bro. You better make sure you have some substance to your character. Because the, uh, the shit y'all mean something, that, like, a lot of that shit only means shit to the people who don't got it. And the people who don't got it, them ain't even really the people you want to be around. The people who got that shit ain't, you small change to them. You know what I'm talking about? People don't even like the way you think. They don't like the way you act. You really don't got nothing to offer. You a clown. You know what I'm talking about? A clown. I ain't bullshitting with you. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to say brush the whiskers when you're on TV. You know what I'm talking about? And once again, my bad, because I'm coming to you from uh, the mind uh, the mind I have now. I understand it. I used to be the motherfucker didn't nobody want to be around. Worthless work Wednesday. I remember niggas used to 42 juke me. Like, yeah, bro, we finna go. I go hop in my car, nigga. Everybody go the other way, man. Ain't nobody fucking with bro. I was in my own car, but niggas wasn't fucking with bro. You not finna fuck this night up. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But you got to go through shit like that and be like, God damn, I'm that bad? Hell yeah. You know what I'm talking about? And once you understand that, you, uh, see, because you got to understand shit to even change yourself. But like I said, you even got to be tired of the shit you do to even want to change. So if you ain't tired of it, you know what I'm talking about? Just see where it gets you. But yeah, you got to be tired of the shit. You know what I'm talking about? You got to, uh, because nowadays we don't be tired of what we doing. We just tired of the reaction we get from the people. So we still want to be us. But we get mad when the people react to the shit that we do. And then when they don't want to be around us, then we trying to explain to them, <laughs> even though we doing the shit that we do, that it ain't that bad. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Real wide, man. We living in them days right now. Worthless work Wednesday. It's going to be one of them long videos a little bit. But yeah, man. I'm finna get on up out of here, man. But yeah, man. The moral to this shit right here. Remember all that shit you think you worth. Somebody else got to want it, folks. If that shit ain't worth nothing to nobody else, bro, that shit don't mean nothing. It only means something to you. You know what I'm talking about? So if you think you the shit because you just got a new chain or one of these cars or something, if ain't nobody else worried about that shit, bro, that shit don't mean nothing. That shit just means something to you. You'll get further with your mouthpiece than you will get with any car, any ring, any chain, any designer fit, any designer purse, please, bruh. The person you is will get you further than any of that shit. So, uh, on this.
it's worthless worth uh Wednesday. Just make sure you worth something for real, bro. And you ain't just self-proclaiming yourself. You know what I'm talking about? Giving yourself all these invisible accolades. Cause you think you done made it somewhere. Somebody else gotta want that shit, bro. But what do I know? Only you could prevent, could prevent four spies, man. And with that one right there, you don't remember nothing else. I always remember. It don't cause nothing. Just to show a little bit of that love.